Welcome guys, brand new Dead White Volvo video and thank you for tuning in again and today we are gonna fix something. This is a how-to video on how to fix your broken wheel studs. And if you don't know what I mean... So what is a wheel stud in the first place? Well, this is a wheel stud and this thing over here is what holds your wheel on there with this. And this is a wheel lug nut. So over here we have my hub assembly and these are actually the new bolts that need to go in. So I'm going to show you guys how you do this, how you do this the proper way, how you do this the safe way. and. Yeah, how you can fix your own car. So uh, let's uh, jump into the video. So guys, over here you have your hub assembly. So what you need to do to remove the old struts is actually just take, of course, your nuts off of there. And when you did that, then you can start removing them. This is a very difficult process of removing them. And I will show you that right now. So what you need is a very special tool, a big old hammer. And then you just And there you have it. That's the old one. It's all, it's yeah, that's all. So guys, what do you need to smack in that brand new wheel strut? That's the question. Over here we have our hub. As you can see, these two, oh, these two are the old ones and these two are the new ones. I already smacked those in and I'm going to show you how to do this in a really easy and safe way. What you need for this is this. I used two strong metal rings about three millimeters thick or something thickness doesn't really matter as long as you have enough thread to uh, overcome this area over here so with two of these rings on there and as you can see these fit perfectly over your strut you can get these two and you can mount them on there like so then you take your lug nut and always use a very strong, maybe even a new one, um, because if you use a uh, yeah a wheel lug nut with a bad thread, you will ruin your brand new lug nuts. What I did is I strengthened this one like so, then put this one up in there, and I will just hold it with my feet. Then I used just a normal socket, winch this a bit down. And why do I do this? Well, I got a very good reason for this. Because this one, this metal plate, this, this all aluminum this, um, this one is actually holding up against the side, so against to this part of your lug nut. And of course, this is a new one. The smartest thing to do is just smack the old ones out. So smack this one out, then do this, then smack the old one over here out and do it. Then this one, then this one, then this one, and then you only uh, will be resting on the one new bolt with in the last one you do. I did it wrong here, but that would be my best guess to do this. We'll turn on my flash. So. As you can see here, this is a new one and this is a old one. And this is just the way I do this. I used some little bit of WD-40. I am putting it onto the bolt over there and then just tightening it down. So I will film this for you guys so you guys can uh, get a good view of how I do this. This is of course on a Volvo 240. And if you like Volvo 240s and if you like what I'm doing and my videos that I'm making right now, please consider subscribing to this channel.
and girls, I think it's done. And look at this, new struts, five new struts, new brake pads and everything else. So this car is done. I can throw on my rim and then we are done for today. Yeah, that's everything you need to know. I do advise you to always use some new lug nuts when you're installing new struts. That's just safer. Um, and yeah, that's it for the day. I really hope you like this video. I hope you can change your own broken struts because that's the reason I did mine. Because this one is the old one. And yeah, that uh, one is broken, as you can see. So yeah, my car is fixed again. I. So yeah, my car is fixed again and I can drive. So I hope your, your cars will be safe again too. And I will see you guys in the next one. So please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, until the next video. Bye bye guys. Thank you for watching.